It's about that time, guys. What's going on, everybody? My name is Big Pum, and we are here today for our first official match within the NPA. It is week 10, and our opponents are the freaking New York Metapods, guys. You can see on the layout what I am predicting him to bring. I myself am bringing Mega Pinsir, Ampharos, Milotic, Diggersby, Spiritomb, and Cobalion, guys. So <laughs> I'm very excited for this match. Um, I think I have brought the tools necessary to come out with the W, I'm very excited. Uh, Sableye is going to be obviously the hugest problem because I don't have a fairy on my roster to answer him. But uh, yeah, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video to when we go online and start the fight. So I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, we are back and we are about to challenge A Drive. We're going to get this going, guys. Uh, good luck, A Drive. Have fun, man. Oh, man, I'm so nervous. I am a nervous Nelly. Here we go, guys. We are challenging A Drive to a battle. Let's do this. This is our first week in the NPA. I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. Who better to fight on your first official match than A Drive himself? All right, guys, here we go. Let's go ahead and look at his team here, see how close we were to the predictions. Oh, I'm so nervous. Battle start. Bring my party. Boom, we're good to go. Oh my gosh. I'm so nervous. All right, let's see how close we can predict this team. So we see the Sableye. Oh my gosh, he brings... So who doesn't he bring? He does not bring the Scolipede this week. He does not bring the Scolipede. Instead, he brings the Guard of War. That is actually huge. That means uh, Milotic is going to put in the most amount of work. Let me go ahead and put in a Guard of War spray here. Let's put in the shiny one because who knows. Go ahead and put in the Guard of War spray. Okay, there we go. Now, now that the layout is fixed. All right, so my initial thought is his Sableye open to prevent me from putting rocks up. That is what I think initially. That is what I think is going to happen. So we're going to go ahead and start off with Gertrude, the Spirit Tomb, who's supposed to 1v1 the Spirit Tomb, or the Sableye is the main goal of uh, Spirit Tomb. So hopefully this play works out. We'll see how it happens. Though. We'll see what happens. I'm so nervous, guys. Uh, Spirit Tomb was my uh, dedicated lead. So we're going to go ahead and get right into this. Oh, man, here we go. Here we go, Big Palm versus A Drive. Freaking match of the century right now for me. This is my biggest match on YouTube, probably my biggest match for a while. So this is gonna be a good, this is gonna be a good time, guys. He goes out, it opens with the mirror, mirror. Good play, good play. Oh, he doesn't bring the shiny. That's interesting, actually. So we go ahead and open with Gertrude, the Spirit Tomb. Very nice and shiny. Okay, so now my play here, predicting the Willow or switch out or whatever he wants to do. I think he wants to get up his Mega first turn. So being that, I want to go ahead and set up a nasty plot. That's my plan right now, because I think he wants to get his mega up right away, as fast as possible. So we're going to go ahead and get our nasty plot. So I'm pretty sure he wants to mega turn one and uh, get the magic bounce. So we're going to see. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Oh, man. Oh, man. Gertrude, come on. Come through. Gertrude's about to put in some work if he lets me. Okay, so we see Mega Sableye. Nice and turn one mega. Okay, so he stays in. Now he could either Ka Mind or he could Will O Wisp me. Uh, Spirit Tomb is usually a physical attacker, so I wouldn't be surprised. He goes for the Will O Wisp. Yep, there it goes. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Gertrude is burned. That's okay. We get our Nasty Plot up. That was our plan from the start is to get a Nasty Plot. Now something has to take this hit. Something is going to have to take this hit, and nothing really wants to. Sableye doesn't want to take it. Uh, nothing on his team wants to take this Shadow Ball that's about to income, come in. So what's his pl my play is to click Shadow Ball 1,000% of the time is to click Shadow Ball. I am a plus two Spirit Tomb. Oh man, we outspeed. Um, oh man, this is, we're about to see what kind of set the Sableye is as well. Oh man, this is gonna be wild. This is gonna be wild, man. All right, here we go. So this plan worked out right from the start. Now who's he gonna switch into this? Oh my gosh. Oh my God, my heart. All right. Who are you switching in? Who are you switching in? Or are you just going to let Sableye take it? Nothing wants to come into this. Nothing on his team wants to come into this plus two Shadow Ball. He withdraws the Mirror Mirror, so he chooses to preserve the Sableye probably out into... Who's Arwen? Arwen is the Guard of War. Guard of War is not going to take this unless he has the Ghost Reducing Berry. Goes for the... Okay, so he picks up an Infiltrator. Oh, you're not going to take this unless you have a Berry. You don't have a Berry. I think Guard of War is dead here. Gardevoir goes down. Oh, what a huge start. Oh, we clear a huge threat off the table already. Oh, Gardevoir is gone. Oh my gosh, Gardevoir dies. 
Do Shadow Ball. Oh my gosh, what a huge open for us, guys. Huge start, huge start. Oh my god. Alright, so now who's he gonna come into? Oh my gosh, what a perfect start for us, guys. Oh my gosh. That is absolutely huge. To make him sack off a Pokemon like that already, right from the start. Absolutely huge, absolutely huge. That's a huge threat. Oh man. Hold on, let me from Spirit Tomb. Oh man. I really wanted to try and kill the Sableye early, but I figured he wasn't going to let it go down that easily. Uh, now now he's got... Who's Flash Drive? Flash Drive is the Thunderous. Yep. Okay, so the Thunderous comes in. And now I have no need to stay in here. There's no need for me to stay in. So I go ahead and switch right out into my Ampharos, who is meant to wall this thing. Ampharos' job is to wall uh, Flash Drive here. Oh, man. Here we go. What a huge start for us, guys. What a huge start. Okay, so Ampharos comes in. He goes for the Thunderbolt. This is going to do basically zero to me. Basically does zero. Okay. He's life orb. Life orb. Okay, so life orb. Life orb. Uh, Thundy. Okay, life orb. Gotta make sure I remember that. Okay, so he can switch up his moves here. He 1000% can. Now, who is it switching here? Um. Oh, man. Alright, what's it switching? Um. I can predict the switch. And go for the Volt Switch and try to keep momentum. He could go on to Steelix, predicting my Volt Switch. No, because if he... Uh, Alright, let's see what he wants to do here. I can click HP Ice. Who wants to come in here? Let's go ahead and... Uh, I don't lose anything by clicking Volt Switch. I might give him back some health, but that's fine. Yeah, he withdraws Flash Drive. He doesn't want to stay in because I walled him. Alright, who comes in now? Rolex comes in. I could have predicted that. Could have predicted that. That's fine. So now he wants to get up his rocks, for sure. That's fine. Now, I could do a couple things here. Can I live an earthquake from this thing? So let's go ahead. I kind of want to... I want to do some damage predicting his rocks. Because I think his priority right now is to get rocks up. His priority is to get rocks. So let's go ahead and look at Ampharos versus his Steelix. Steelix. We'll call him Defensive Steelix. Uh, level 50. How much does your earthquake do? Your earthquake does a lot. And my move does not. Alright, so let's go ahead and switch right out. He can get his rocks up, that's fine. I know we have no hazard removal on this team, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So we got Rolex in here. We switch right out into my Lodic. Okay. He goes for the Stealth Rocks, yes. Okay, good play, good play. Now I am free to click Scald here. Um, he is most likely going to switch out. I don't see him staying in. There's no reason for him to stay in right now. He would do very little to me. So who wants to come in right now? Uh, he could send in the Sableye predicting. I'm going to go ahead and click Scald. Just get some damage off on something. Because uh, I don't want to end up toxic toxicing myself. Predicting the switch into his Sableye. Because if he switches into Sableye and I get toxic, that's not good. That's not a good situation. So I'm going to go ahead and click Scald. Oh my gosh. Uh, we did speed creep the crest, so if he wants to send in the crest, that won't end well for him either. Uh, I could see the switch in the flash drive. He could switch in the flash drive. Oh my gosh. That turn one with the shadow ball, or turn two, or whatever. Oh my gosh. Alright, so we go ahead and scroll. He stays in. Good thing I didn't toxic. That would have been awful. Oh my gosh, that damage. So much damage. He's gonna... Oh, he goes for the toxic. Okay. He wants to go ahead and toxic me. That is 100% okay in my book. That is okay. Uh, we do have Refresh on uh, Milotic in case he wanted to go into a Toxic Style War with me. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and click Scald. I'm not going to reveal Refresh yet. I want to kind of keep it. And plus, I also have Multiscale now. So I can switch into his Offensive Threats better. Actually, his only like Offensive Threat left is the Entei. Is the Entei. So what's he going to do here? Does he want to switch out? I don't think he wants to switch out. I think he just sacks off Rolex here. He does. I think he does. If, if the Steelix goes down, Pinsir puts in a lot of work. All right, Rolex goes down. Rolex dies. Steelix dies to Scald. Scald from Milotic. Okay. Now, I predict the he's probably going to go into Flash Drive to scare me out. Because uh, Milotic is a huge threat to him right now. Oh, my gosh. What a crazy game, guys. What a crazy game. So, let's start... So he's already down Steelix and Gardevoir. So now Pinsir can put in a poop ton of work. 
absolute poop ton of work. All right, so he does go into the flash drive. We do see the flash drive. So we're going to go ahead. No reason to stay in. We're going to go ahead and switch right back out into CB Hulk. CB Hulk fan for us. Shout out to CB. Oh my gosh, here we go. We do not stay in on this thing at all. If he wants the Thunderbolt, that's cool. If he wants the Volt Switch, that's also cool. I don't care. That's cool. He probably predicts the switch, obvious Thunderbolt, into Diggersby. He would think I'd go into Diggersby, but I have no reason to. I have no reason to. This thing walls him. Even Focus Blast doesn't do that too much to me. He goes for the agility. That's a problem. That is a problem. He goes for the agility. Oh, my gosh. Didn't predict that. Okay, so he has agility, Thunderous. Agility. So we've seen agility, Thunderbolt. Okay. So I click this move. He goes for the nasty plot. Oh, we're in trouble now, boys. Now we are in trouble. Okay, so he's double. He's dual dance flash flash drive. We have HP ice. This should do a decent amount. Does it okay amount? Does it okay amount? Um, hopefully I can live a hit. Hopefully I live a hit. I should be able to live one hit. Let me see. Let's go thunderous. This could be bad. This could be bad. All right, I should live a hit. I should live a hit. I'm max spadef. I'm gonna go ahead and click hidden power ice. Goes for the Focus Blast. This is going to hurt. This is going to really hurt. Please live. No, we don't live. Oh, shit. We're in trouble, boys. Oh, my gosh. We are in trouble. Okay, so he still is the Life Orb. All right. I need to take him down a little bit more in health first before I can start taking him out with priority. Oh, man. All right. So let's go ahead and how much do I need him at? Hold on. Thunderous. Uh, let's call him... He's probably modest. He's times two. He probably has no defense investment. How much does Pincer... How much does uh, Diggers B do? Call it Diggers B. How much does my quick attack do? Not very much. Okay. He is at less than half. Oh my gosh. Alright, so who do I need now? I don't need Gertrude now. Oh my god, that, that is a problem. Um... Damn. All right. Dual dance. Thunderous. Did not predict that at all. That's This could be a problem, guys. So we're going to go ahead into Gertrude. Take some rocks damage. He's going to get the... Oh, man. This is a problem. This is a problem for sure. So we're going to go ahead and click the Sucker Punch. Get some more chip damage off. It's not going to do very much at all. That's fine. I did nothing. Goes for the Thunderbolt. Gertrude's down. Oh, man. Oh man, alright, now something has to die. Oh no, okay, so now hold on. He is really low. He is really low. Um, I could go into my Diggers B, and that Quick Attack should kill. I think Quick Attack kills from here. Ah, oh, does Quick Attack kill? What about Pincer? What if I go into Pincer? Does Pincer kill? Pincer. Does my Mega Pincer kill with Quick Attack? Oh my god, Quick Attack does less. Oh man. Alright guys, we're in a bit of a sticky situation here. Why does that do so little? I could have swore that would kill. Hold on. Oh, he's level 100. Hold on. Put that down to level 50. Alright, so Pincer's Quick Attack would kill. Uh, let me look at Diggersby again. Does Diggersby Quick Attack kill? Oh, Diggersby's Quick Attack definitely kills. So let's go ahead and go out into the Diggersby. Uh, he can switch out to preserve it, but I don't see why he would at this point. So we go out into McManly Man, the freaking Diggers B. We go ahead. We don't do anything except Quick Attack. We have no reason to click anything but Quick Attack. No reason. No reason. We just click Quick Attack. Oh my gosh. I did put in quite a bit of work. We did need that chip damage. We needed him to bring himself down a little bit with Life Orb. Now there's no reason this shouldn't kill. There's no reason. Okay, so he has to try to switch something in. He doesn't have anything that wants to take on Diggers B though. He doesn't. If this thing dies, he's in trouble. Okay, so we got the Thunderous here. Uh, Milotic is still poisoned. Let's remember that. I gotta remember that. Oh, is he gonna switch out? Is he gonna switch out? He needs this for Milotic. If this thing dies, Milotic wins. If this thing dies, Milotic wins the game. Oh my gosh. We haven't even brought in Pincer yet. Okay, guys. Come on. Come on. We can put in the work. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, such a nervous... Okay, so he does withdraw. He does choose to preserve that. Oh, my gosh. 
In comes Mirror Mirror. He predicts the quick attack. That is fine. Alright, that's fine. We don't stay in here. Mm -hmm. What do I want to do now? Um, I had to try to quit, kill it. So he is switched out now. So we do have to save the priority because both of my priorities do kill him. So let's go ahead and go into my Lodic. Um, he could set up on me and that would be a problem. But we can come in with Diggersby later and just kill him. I think with an Earthquake could do a lot. But I just don't want to get Willowed. I can't let Diggersby get Willowed. Goes for the Calm Mind. Yes. Okay. So now we're in trouble. Okay. So this thing's going to sit here and set up Calm Minds on me. Ah. That's bad. Alright. So I got to try to burn him to get the Residual. But. Oh man. Okay. See the benefit is he's still really slow. Alright. So he's going to start setting up Calm Minds. Who do we want to go into? Um... I don't have a choice here. I have to click Scald. I have to click Scald. Uh, I don't really know what else to do here. I just got to try to keep bringing him down. That does nothing. That does nothing. All right. He's going to sit here and calm mine in front of me. Um, if he willows my Diggersby, I'm in trouble. Uh, how much does my Diggersby do to a Sableye? Calm, calm mine, Sableye. Uh, level 50. All right. We need to have him pretty low before... Uh, we kill him here oh man we are in trouble we are in trouble for sure guys all right so we need to keep my Lodic around ah oh, damn it Gertrude was my answer to this thing and I let it die I can't let those other bonds get burned though I can't I don't know what else to do here guys oh my gosh he's gonna set up on me if he gets the burn I'm in trouble um no, he's just going to combine. He has no reason to not combine here. Oh, but if I switch into a burn... You know what? Either way, I pretty much just have to let him set up and hope for a crit or something. I pretty much have to let him set up. I can't switch into a burn if he wants to go for that. That would be bad. Goes for the Shadow Ball. Good. Oh, I could have switched into Diggersby for free. Could have switched in for free. Alright, so that's fine. He knows I have to recover here. He knows I don't have a choice to recover, but recover. So that's fine. So we click recover. Does he have shadow sneak? That'd be pretty wild. All right, I have to click recover. I outspeed him. Yep. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. Yep, he goes for the recover as well. So he has Willow. He has Sableye. Hold on. So Sableye. Willow. Calm Mind. And Shadow. I wonder what his last move is. Um, I don't want to stay in. I don't want to stay in. I'm going to go out into Apollo. I do need another. I should have gotten another recover off now that I think about it. So I can switch back in later. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. Alright. So we switch out into Apollo. Apollo doesn't have much use for me right now. He gone, that's, if he wants to go for Willow, that's fine. I don't care. That's fine. I had to switch out there. I had to switch out. Okay. So, here we go, guys. Okay. So, we know he's not going to carry Dark Pulse because he doesn't want to give me those boosts. I'm going to try to... I guess I have to try to flinch him or something. I don't know. <laughs> I have to try to flinch him. It does almost zero damage. We did we get the flinch, though. <laughs> we do get the flinch, though. Oh, my gosh. All right. We are in a bit of a sticky situation, guys. We have to basically... Ah, oh, man. The Sableye is going to be the death of me. I didn't have a good answer. Gertrude was my answer, but it died early because of the... Yeah, we're in trouble. Oh, damn it. Okay. Okay. Basically, I need something to die. I need a clean switch into pincer. That's basically what has to happen. I have to, I, my, my play is just to keep clicking Iron Head. That's my play. I don't really have another play. He could just recover and like... Oh, we get the flinch. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. We are running Facade on the pincer in case he wants to uh, try to burn me. 
that's fine if he does. Uh, Facade will actually do a lot to his Sableye if we're burned, so... Uh, I really needed rocks up too. He didn't give me a chance to get up rocks either, which is not good, but that's okay. Um, I really want to get up... Oh my god, we're getting all these flinches. We're getting really lucky with these flinches. We're getting very lucky with the flinches. Okay. So he has to recover here. Um, I want to see something. So say I make a hard switch into Pinsir. Okay, so he's plus two. If he goes for Shadow Ball and I switch into this, I die. So I definitely don't want to do that. That's definitely not my play. I have to let something die cleanly. If I'm burned, how much does a uh, Facade do? Facade does a lot. Okay. So my play is just to keep cooking Iron Head. Until the point he has to recover. I think he just wants to Shadow Ball me. No, he does want to recover. Okay. That's fine. This is my play, guys. I have nothing else to do. I can't do anything else to the Sableye. I can't do anything else to the Sableye right now. I have to get a clean switch into something else. I do have to get a clean switch into something else. Hopefully, uh... Damn, dude. I knew this was a problem, too. Shadow Ball. Please kill. That's fine. We had to let something die. Okay, so now I can go ahead and bring in Pinsir to hit him really hard. And he gets punished for burning me here. He does get punished for burning me because I have the facade. He is going to get hurt here. This is going to hurt him. Mega Evolution, we click Return. And we see how much we do. We got the Lindomar, the freaking Mega Pinsir, the homie, the legend. Let's go, Pinsir. Come on, buddy. I hope he tries to burn me. Uh, best case scenario, he goes for the burn. That's absolute best case scenario if he goes for the burn. Oh my gosh. All right, so we click Return. We hit him pretty good. Bam. That's some good damage. He goes for the Shadow Ball. Oh shit. Did this kill me? Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Don't kill. Don't kill. Don't kill. No way that kills. Fuck, we're in so much trouble. We're in so much trouble. Okay. So now we can go into McManly Man. We can go into McManly Man. Oh, Pinsir. Let me down. Okay, so Pinsir, or uh, McManly Man does kill here. Uh, who does he have left? He has... Uh, does knockoff kill? Do I lose anything by going for knockoff? Figures B. Custom set. Does knockoff kill you? Oh, I don't know if knockoff kills you. I think I just click Earthquake. I think I just click Earthquake. I'm just gonna click Earthquake. I have to try to kill it. I have to click Earthquake. Yep, okay, so Sableye's gonna die here. There's no way it lives. Sableye dies to Earthquake. Sableye dies to EQ from Diggersby. Okay. Okay. Now, who's he bringing here? He could bring in the Crest. He could bring in the Crest. I do outspeed the Crest. Unless he's running an insane amount of speed investment, I do outspeed him. Okay. He is in a he's in a tough situation right now. He is in a tough situation. He goes into Vesuvius, the Ente. All right. So I should. He's probably gonna go for Sacred Fire here. How much does his Sacred Fire? Okay, so I can switch into my Lotic here. I should be able to switch into my Lotic. Ah, uh, I misplayed. I should have healed my Lotic earlier for this reason. So hold on. So my Lotic comes in. Uh, he is the shiny one, so we know he has E-Speed. Entei. We'll call him Choice Band for now, just in case. Level 50, I am poisoned. See, he doesn't even do that much, even if I'm not poisoned. So if I'm poisoned... How much does he do to me? He doesn't do very much. Okay, so I can switch into Raiden here. Unless he has something wild. At this point, I don't have a choice. He probably has to go for Sacred Fire to try to burn me. I should have recovered earlier. There is no reason to not recover. I don't know if we're going to live this hit. Plus the toxic damage. We might. Yeah, we're probably going to lose uh, right into here. This could be GG, guys. Oh my god, that does zero. But the toxic. Oh, we're going to lose. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. 
Um, the poison damage is going to rack up. We are going to die. We are going to die if he clicks Sacred Fire. We do die here. I have to click Recover. Goes for the Sacred Fire. He's probably banded into it. Do I live? Please live. We don't live. That's going to be GG. That's going to be GG. I came to a misplay. I should have recovered on the Sableye earlier, but the Toxic was racking up. I had to switch out. Ah, uh, I'm so upset, guys. Damn it, man. Ah, uh, that's upsetting. That is heart wrenching. The definitely the dual dance. Um, what's his face caught me off guard. So I just click earthquake here. He is locked in the sacred fire. Uh, I just click earthquake. I shouldn't have switched in. I guess my play was to earthquake right there. Do I live a sacred fire? We don't live a sacred fire. That's gonna be GG. GG A Drive, thank you for the battle, man. Came down to a couple bad misplays, guys. Uh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? It's our first week in the NPA. Hopefully, uh, we'll win our next couple matches. Uh, that was a fun game, uh, for sure. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope you guys will come out and rep me. Even though we did have a pretty bad showing this first game, a um, couple bad misplays. I should have recovered with the Milotic. I shouldn't have switched in the Milotic because I could have recovered after. Oh man, I choked that game right at the end there. Ah, oh, damn it, man. Oh, well, guys, that's Pokemon. GG, guys. I'm going to get out of here, and thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Peace.